In this video, we will check how to install FRR inside a Docker. So within a single Linux machine, you can create multiple Dockers and test. So that is the purpose of this. If you want to install FRR in a normal Linux machine, I will give the link in the description. You can check that to install it. So for creating a Docker, you need to create a Docker file which will do all the operations for us. So in case you are not familiar with the Docker, for that also I will give you the basic docker commands you can check that so this is the docker file what we are doing is we are going to take it from ubuntu 20 and this you can give any email id and all these are apt-get install basic ip utils and then auto config because we want to install it so so these are all the build installs apt-get install if and why if you give it will install all the binaries and then we are installing python 3 and then for since for FRR we are used, going to create a group. So FRR, FRR VTY, all these user are, uh, mode we are creating it. Then we have to install libyang2 for that. These are the commands. We'll download, we'll check out and build it and as well as install the libyang2. Then we need a protobuf and libz. So that is the command to install this. And then now, after all these are done, now we will check out the FRR code. This is the git clone FRR code. This is the config library, uh, sorry, config command, configure command to build. So, once it is built, we have to install it. So, this is, these are the commands. This is to make install and this is to copy all the required binaries to the Docker. So, we have checked out in this part. So, we are doing here. So after this, system enable FRR. So this is the command which you are doing. So now, to build it, we have to give this docker build. To build any uh, any docker, you have to do docker build. And then, we have to run it. So first we are doing docker build if and t. This is the name. Name of the name and the tag. So this is the path where we have the docker file. So this is home Ubuntu for a docker file. Here you will have a docker file. Using that you have to run. So I will start running this. It will take some time. It will download and do all the operations. Once it's done, we can check. So now docker build is completed. You can see these are all the operations. Whatever we have given in the docker file is executed. Now we will see the docker image. So this is the FRR docker which is created. We can just log in into one of that and check whether FRR is actually running. So this is the command docker run name we need to give net admin and sys admin because we have to configure the sysctr files so that is why dot h1 now we are inside the docker it is 172 network so now we will check whether PTY is running. It is not running because system CTA. We can check whether it started or not. Status FRR. So it is dead. So we will start it. So now it is running. Now if we give VTY search, it is dead. So I zero it. So now we can configure router OSP. Actually, OSP is not running. BGP, I think, is, is not running. So to make it run, what we have to do is we have to go to etc fr demons. So this is the file where we have to enable. I'm enabling BGP and OSP. So all others are default config. Take an effect. What we have to do is we have to restart this. Some CTL. Restart. Status is running. Now we'll try to configure OS just to see whether it is still one or So now it is running. M BGP also. So 
So running, you can click. So now our FRR is ready inside a Docker. So you can learn basic FRR using that. In next video, we will see how to connect different Dockers to create a network and test.